Today is June 18th, 2018. I'm the Curator, and this is The Curator Show. Today I'm here with Brayden, who runs a clothing brand called Impera Gear. What's up, man? How are you doing? Not too bad, man. Not too bad. How are you? Pretty good. So you said you're... You have one of your team members on with you too. Yeah, yeah, it's me and uh, me and one of the co-owners of Duel. We're on here today. We're just chilling at the uh, chilling at the shop. What's up, Geek? Sounds good, man. What's up? All right, Chill, so bro. tell me a bit about yourselves outside of Impera Gear. Uh, outside of the company, yo, yeah. we just uh, we were pretty pretty laid back guys. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time in the warehouse in the shop here. We skateboard. Um, you know, we chill out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smoke good. up. Uh, you know, do some, do some, you know, pretty active stuff. We just design clothes a lot of the time, you know, spend a lot of time listening to music, um, you know, chilling out and doing stuff like that. That's dope. What kind of music do you guys listen to? Uh, we listen to a lot of, uh, I mean, I guess you could put it on the category trap music. Uh, yeah. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff out of the UK. My family's, my family's from the UK, so we listen to a lot of UK grime stuff. I don't know if you're familiar with any of the artists there, but we listen to, uh, you know, like most key stuff like that. Sounds familiar. Um, I don't know too much yeah. about that though. What's that? As it sounds familiar. I don't know too much about the grind. Yeah, scene. no, no, facts. No, it's 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 some good stuff. It's gonna come up for sure. There's some fire artists out there. I feel that. Have you heard of XXX Tentacion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure Dude, I just heard supposedly he got shot. Yeah, that ass really. I'm yeah, I'm kind of shook. <laughs> oh shit, that's crazy. That's too that's young, man. On his ass. That's crazy. Yeah, hopefully he's still alive. Damn, it's crazy. All right, so where are you guys from? You said you're from England. Uh, that's that's where my family's from. We're, yeah. we're from Canada, actually. Okay. Canadian. We're from uh, we live in Cal- a place called Calgary, Calgary, Alberta. Um, but our, our brand runs out of two places in Canada. We run out of Toronto and Calgary, so we kind of go back and forth there. You know, every every couple of weeks we switch it up and go back to our places. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you have a storefront, or like a uh, yeah, shop? yeah. Oh shit! I mean, it's uh, it's I guess it's, it's kind of ironic because you could say you could say store back. We uh, we we own a warehouse and uh, and. The entrance to those shops is actually we open up the bay doors that are in the warehouse there, and people come in and skate and shit like that. But uh, we have we have sort of a, uh, a like a, a furnished loft area built inside the warehouse. The skate parks, the skate parks down below, sorry. And uh, we kind of just chill and spend our time up in the loft area here. Hey, that sounds pretty cool though, because I don't think that many yeah. other people do that. So that's a good way yeah, to no, separate yourself. Yeah, no, very cool spots. It's uh, it's known around Calgary for sure. Kids come through and skate and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you guys really market that a lot or? Cause I don't, uh, I mean, yeah, I, you know, I mean, we kind of try to keep it like I, I, I uh, to be honest, I spend like almost all my time here. You know, you'll catch us sleeping here a lot of times. So we'll be working super late and just end up chilling here because you know we got our, we got like beds here and couches here. It's a nice little area, so you'll catch us, you'll catch us chilling here a lot. So we try to keep it, you know, somewhat private. We don't like guys lurking around because we have had some issues, but uh, but you know, all the, all the homies are welcome. You know, kids come through in the summertime, they skate in the winter, stuff like that. We shoot, you know, music videos here. Some some of the local stores. I've done some photo shoots here. Um, you know, we do, uh, you know, we host some local stuff here. We've had some pop-up shops. We've had some local artists perform and stuff like that here. Just some, some local stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I saw the pop-up shop. Yeah, I'm going to ask about that a bit down the line later. In the yeah, interview. yeah, definitely. So how's the streetwear scene in Canada? Oh, man. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely it's definitely on the come up. I mean, there's that, it's, it's very, in Calgary, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to speak too much on Calgary. It's kind of a, you know, we're not really, <laughs> we're not really, you know, with Calgary that much. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of strange stuff going on in Calgary. Uh, if, if, if you're local, you know what I'm talking about. But I mean, definitely in Toronto, there's very, it's a very, it's a very popular, you know, it's popping, it's popping there. There's, there's definitely some influencers from the states coming in. Um, Toronto is a very big city here. You know, you got men like Drake out there who was doing big things. You know, Roy Woods, shout out those guys. You know, all the guys from OVR are doing huge things. So. There's a lot, you know, and those guys are, are gaining like global, you know, attractions. So yeah, I've seen so that. It, it's not, uh, it, it, yeah, it's, it's it's not too bad. I mean, it's, I, yeah, I don't know. What would you say, dude? Yeah, I mean, it's I can't. I mean, Calgary's primarily like a cowboy town, I guess. Yeah. Basically. So yeah, coming you'll, you'll up, you'll catch man wearing like blue jeans and cowboy boots here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you like. know, the streetwear is kind of starting up here. Like there, there are a couple, you know, more stores coming up. Uh, in Calgary that like have some streetwear brands, which is pretty nice, but it's going to take some time to develop for sure and uh, get, you know, get it bigger. And 
I guess, have the older heads that lived in Calgary getting used to seeing clothes like that. No, yeah, that's a very good way to put it. It's a very good way to put it. Yeah, I get it. That's that must be pretty good though, since the scene is on the come up over there, and you guys are like actually a part of the come up. You could really cement yourself as part of the culture in Canada, you know? Exactly, yeah. exactly. We try to one hundred percent, one hundred percent. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get uh, you know that 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 uh, the brand that's not labeled uh, you know a high end streetwear brand like some Gucci or shit like that, but not a lower end you know skateboard brand like Element or DC per se. Not not that those are lower end brands, but you know what I mean. They're more yeah, skateboard yeah. Or, and so, you know, we're kind of a mix between those two brands, kind of on the come up, you know, sort of a movement, you know, that collaborates the two and going up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Have you ever been down to Montana? Because I know that's like right below Calgary. I have family over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, facts. I've, I've been to Montana before. I just, I got, I got some family members that, uh, I got a place up there. My girlfriend actually, she, she's born and raised there. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And that just came to mind when we were talking about the whole cowboy scene in Calgary. <laughs> yeah, no, so that's exactly. definitely it's, how it's it seems in Montana. That part for sure. All right, so how many years have you guys been running Impera? Uh, Impera probably, I mean, the original, I think the very first design was released in 2015. Um, so long ago that, it was three, four years. Yeah. Um, so about, about that time, yeah. All right, that's pretty good. So you guys have some experience. Yeah, yeah, a little bit for sure. So where did the idea and concept for it come from? Like, tell me about how it came to life. Um, I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely, I, I, I'm the, I'm the, the uh, creative director. So I mean, it's kind of it's kind of been a long time coming. Just a lot of a lot of different ideas bouncing off each other. Um, a lot of uh, you know different different uh, influences and a lot of different um, you know designs that've gone through. And you know, oh, we're going to do this for sure. And the last second we don't we don't do it. Stuff like that. Or at the last second we change it. So it's it's been a long time coming. There's been a lot of, of uh, uh, you know there hasn't been a lot of releases as much as we'd like to because there is a lot you know a lot coming. Like I said. Yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, yeah, that's what we'll, we'll do. We'll put a little insight on this. Oh, sorry, can you repeat the question again? Um, the question was like, how and when did you guys start it, and like, where did you get the idea and concept for it? Oh, uh, so, yeah. So basically, I mean, we're we're just both kids that really liked skateboarding. Like, we're big fans of that, and we just kind of you know saw a lot of like skate videos and just grew up around that culture at skate parks and whatnot. Um. So we, you know, we thought that it would be a good shot for us to try to make our own clothes. So, like, considering that we took a pretty big interest in in clothing design, yeah, coming up. So yeah, we we thought we would we would just give it a shot and just like you know make some clothes for ourselves. You know, people ended up fucking with it and it's getting it's getting bigger now. Yeah, big facts, big facts. That's great, man. Yeah, you definitely need to start small, but once it starts gaining traction, that shit blows up. You know. Yeah, yeah big facts. It's a great feeling. So, do you guys have a team outside of you two, or is it just you guys? I mean, there's definitely uh, there's definitely a lot of people that are involved. We have, uh, I mean, the, the two people that run the company business wise, um, which is me, me and me and Abdul. Yeah. Um, but I mean, other than that, the, the team we're definitely uh, you know we got a lot of people that a lot of the models, a lot of the people that you see on the website and the Instagram are close friends to us. Our yeah. people that rock vision, you know, people that have been with us since day one, type, type of shit like that. Yeah, um, cool, so, I swear, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, no, you can't. No, you can't. Uh, okay, thanks. thanks sorry. No, but it's, uh, it's it's a lot of people that, are, you know, we, we, we try to keep a really small circle. Um, Understandable. Yeah. Shit gets wild when too many people are around. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. So this one's for each of you guys separately, but what yeah, aspects sure. of the brand do you each handle and what are your favorite parts to, like, take care of? Uh, okay, for... Uh, I'll start, I guess. Um, I know you said you were the, the creative director. I take care of the design. And yeah, exactly. I'm the creative director of the brand. And I'll take care of the marketing. So you'll see me. Um, I'm the one who takes care of like social media. So you know, the Instagram and the website and stuff like that. I, t- I take care of that. Um, as well as anything that take, that goes on within the warehouse within, within um, you know, the city itself. So if there's a pop-up shop, I'll be the coordinator of that. Um, if there's you know um, something that needs to be released or anything like that, then I'll be the one to notify. Sounds good. What about you, Abdul? Um, I just work with the like technical stuff, I guess, the behind the scenes, like a lot of the back, uh, website work. Uh, I'll try to do some coding and scripting wherever I can. Um, just a lot of like the Instagram, making sure that security's up. You know, we have a lot of people trying to hack into our shit. So, yeah. uh, really? You know, making sure, yeah, 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 making sure that you know shit. that that's taken care of. Yeah, and yeah. he's on the money side of things. He's a smart guy, the accountant, you know. 
Yeah, I feel that it's good to divide up the work to your strengths and weaknesses, you know, makes everything exactly. stronger and moves more smoothly. Yeah, for sure. Do you think you've learned a lot so far from your time with Impera? Oh, hell yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a lot. There's been there's been crazy ups and downs, you know, like Abdul just said. Instagram has been hacked many times. We've had, uh, you know, we've had, Insta we've had Instagram up to 800 followers, been hacked, we've had to back up, you know, get it back, get it back up to 200 followers, hacked. Damn. You know, get back up to 350, something like that, hacked, boom. So, you know, we're kind of in a stable place right now where we've, where we've managed to obtain, I think, we, I believe we're just, we're at about 1,500 followers right now on our Instagram. Um, yeah. We have about 3,000 followers on our Depop account. Um, uh, but other than that, I mean, I mean, yeah, definitely a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons in business for me personally you know handling dealing with people dealing with all you know all aspects you know i have to you know dealing with uh right down to the producers of the garments the printers of the garments the people who stitch you know the people uh, in our garments you know they come from all from all parts of the world so you know we have to deal with all sorts of, with all, all that kind of stuff i know you know right down to just customer service and inside the store dealing with your everyday client who wants to just try the t-shirt you know learning every day how to do that kind of stuff yeah. Um, and, you know, de you know, learning expenses, you know, you got to, to own a brand. You definitely have to put a lot of money down. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, you know, you'll catch us staying up. Like I said, we sleep at the warehouse sometimes. You'll catch us up at 4 a.m., you know, just working, grinding, you know, doing as much as we can, you know, trying to gain some popularity within the community. Yeah, man, that's dedication, though. Yeah, of, co of course. You guys sound pretty sure. hungry. What would you say are two of the most important things you've learned, though, out of all of that? Like, is there anything specific? Um, anything specific? Um, I mean, I guess the main, the main lesson that I've learned is that you have to really manifest and really keep trying and really just never give up on what you want to do. Um, like I said, we have, been, you know, there's been a lot of setbacks, a lot of pushbacks, um, you know, and, and at the end of the day, regardless of what you're doing, regardless of whether it's clothing, music, you know, you know, cars, anything like that, you're going to get hate. So, you know, you've got to just, keep, you got to make sure you're maintaining that positive attitude. You know, you just, you know, like taking the hate, taking the criticism, doing what you could do with it. Just keep on going. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just keep on grinding. That's really, that's, that's really one of the, one of the biggest lessons that I've learned personally is that uh, you, just, you just can't give up. You know, there's always those times of doubts. There's always those, ah, you know, I'm not trying to do this today. I'm not trying to respond to all these emails today. I don't want to get on the gram and, you know, start promoting. I don't want to you know, look at all this stuff, but I don't want to deal with, you know, this because I got so much hate yesterday, for example, but you know, you just, you gotta, you gotta, you know, yeah, take off yourself a little bit and just kind of keep on grinding. Mm -hmm. What are you, Abdul? Um, yeah, same stuff, like as he said, but like primarily, I guess it's, um, just, uh, keeping, keeping like true to, you know, what you're, what you want the origins of the company to be, you know, and yeah. just kind of like staying steady. Like there's, there's no cheat way to get to the top. He's got to keep slow and, you know, keep steady working and eventually he'll get somewhere for sure. Yeah, I feel that. Just follow the goal. Where do you guys see yourself and your brand two years from now? At the top, yo. I feel at that. At the top for sure, yeah. Like, I'm hoping, you know, hope at least a million followers on Instagram. Two years from now? Yeah, two years from now for sure. That's good but, shit, bro. Uh, yeah, just more designs, more expansion, more stores, and more locations for sure. You know, just just more, just more like gear release. Eventually, you know, backpacks stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I heard those are pretty popping right now. Yeah, for sure. Are you thinking about expanding to the U.S. at all? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, L.A., New York, those places, big for sure for us. Yeah, that's dope. I'm in L.A. for half the year, so you guys should definitely hit me up if you guys ever go out there. Facts, facts. Definitely be down to link up. For sure, bro. 100% of you. Have any of you gone to college or taken any classes or not? No, not, uh, I, none of us have been opposed that. We actually just graduated last year. So we kind of just, uh, we're taking that, taking that one break year to kind of just, you know, put, put 100% into the business, into the company. Um, so, you know, we're trying to, we're making, we're making the move out to Toronto officially in, uh, in August. So, uh, we're actually going to no longer be, in Calgary, we're actually making the, the full time move to Toronto in August. That's great. So that's yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what this year, with this, um, you know, this year's been about you know making the money to uh, you know ferment and stuff like that. And, yeah. You know, also yeah. growing the company as big as possible. Chemical moving out there for sure. Yeah, I feel that man. I just graduated last year too, and I kind of wish I took a gap year off as well to kind of focus on business, focus on making money. Do you want to talk a bit more about getting your accounts hacked? It sounds like that's happened multiple times. Like, do you know <laughs> who did it or? 
and on and anything on, else or if if, uh, if we if we knew we'd expose uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, but no, no, there's no there's no real insight on that it's kind of just you know wait oh we got we, you know it's instagram it's, it's uh it, it used to be a pretty easy thing to get hacked and there's it's it's not too bad right now. now nowadays you got like the double authentication shit like that and if somebody tries to hack and i used to get a notification on my phone or an email right away so uh you know like like i said we're, we've managed to maintain you know up to 1500 now so it hasn't happened um, severely within within the last, I, I I'd probably say within the last six months to eight months. Yeah, um, shit. Hopefully, no, yeah. I no, can't imagine. Hope, how hopefully, it doesn't happen because been. you know nowadays so social media and that, that that platform is so detrimental to to you know what you see because most most of our clientele isn't actually in Calgary. Yeah, um, we don't we don't have a lot of local sales. You, you'll constantly see us shipping uh, packages out to uh, New York, LA. We actually ship out to the UK a lot as well. So. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of foreign sales, a lot of international shipping. So with without social media, without Instagram, it's, it's definitely hard to do that. Yeah, man, I'd be heated if someone hacked one of my accounts. Yeah, sure. big facts for sure. But I mean, good shit for sticking with it. Definitely. Yeah, man, for sure. It's, it's it's a lot of dedication, like I said before. Are there any people or brands that you like to collab with at some point down the line? Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, there's definitely a lot of brands that uh, that you know we, I look at and. and uh, and you know, definitely strive to be like for sure. Um, I mean, I guess one of the one of the bigger brands that uh, I personally like that, but I think would be really cool to see is would, would be would be Palace. I think Palace, the uh, Palace skateboard brand. I think that's a that's a pretty cool brand. I really like what they've done. I really like the way that they've kind of you know the image they've portrayed. Um, I like I like you know a lot and a lot of people are, are going to take that wrong. You know, if a lot of if someone says like, oh, I want to be like Supreme. You know, a lot of kids are going to be like, oh, you're just biting, you're just biting, you know, you just want to be like the other brands. And it's not like that at all. Um, you know, I just, I just really like the way that, how unique the brand Palace is. Yeah. Uh, that, no, I uh, get you know, it. The way Palace is really solid, forward, right? I think it's really, it's really cool. I think it's what Impair is trying to do. They got a lot of funky designs out there, a lot of cool colorways, a lot of, you know, they got a lot of jackets, they got a lot of fucking, sorry, <laughs> they got a lot of, uh, they got a lot of, you know, just functional gear, pants, sweaters, all that kind of stuff. And that's really what a pair is. You know, we, we like we like our jackets. There's a lot of uh, I don't know if people spoke on this before when I when I stood up, but uh, um, we're, we definitely got some jet, some new like winter jackets, puffy jackets coming in, all that kind of stuff. So definitely, I really I really like the brand Palace. I really like what they're doing. I think that'd be a cool uh, brand to collaborate with. Yeah, same man. Honestly, it's kind of funny that you say that because when I first started going through your page, it kind of gave me some Palace vibes. Some certain okay, pieces. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. That's great that that's one of the brands that you look up to. Yeah, say less facts. Yeah, no, that's that's what it's about for sure. They're kind of and you know they, they kind of do the same thing as us. You know what I mean? They're that they're that skateboard oriented company that they have. their you know they're they're very their skateboard groups have the skateboard team, which is what we we strive to do one day. But you know they have that skateboard team. They make skateboard decks. But there's also that there's that touch of finesse too. You know what I mean? Can also you can dress up Palace. Yeah, you know, they have like they have they have you know collar polo tees. You know I've been I've been rocking Palace way from from time. You know like back like twenty four. You know I know a lot of kids say that shits, but like really from time. I got like the OG Palace crew neck. You know with the tri with the like the red and purple tri and shit. And, yeah, you know like the OG Palace department uh, hoodies and shit like that. So I got like some OG stuff, and, and I just really like what they what they do with their things. Yeah, man, I believe you. That's pretty dope. We kind of touched on this earlier with the whole resilience thing, but business isn't always pretty. So how do you guys handle things when things get really like shitty and things just aren't going your way? Just trust yeah, me. I know those days yeah, definitely nice. happen. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's like you, like you said, the words you just use is resilience really. And you just got to kind of, you know, pick up where you left off and kind of bounce back and, you know, business does get rough. You know, we've got, you go, you go one month, you know, you make like, you know, sell 50 shirts in one month and then you go the next month and you're selling, you know, like two or three, you know, yeah. it really gets down to that low. And, uh, and, you know, you just gotta, you gotta just keep grinding and manifesting the good weeks, you know, staying positive and just keep, keep on grinding. Feel that. What about you, Abdul? Cause I know the e-commerce shit and coding gets really rough sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, you gotta keep working at it. And here's something that, you know, we both love to death and yeah. it's something that like we know regardless of how hard the days get, or, you know how shitty the work gets. It's going to be something positive in yeah, our it's, lives. It's not. A, it's not a chore. And Paris definitely not a chore. The business yeah. side of it is. It's definitely light for sure. There's hard aspects of it, but it's definitely. Uh, you know, it's 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 our baby for sure. Yeah. So it's like you know you just got to keep that. If if you have that connection with your company, then it, it shouldn't really be too hard to you know get yourself back in the motivation right away as soon as soon as you might feel down. Yeah, man, I get that. As long as you love what you do, it's not really a job. 
Exactly. So you mentioned you guys plan on starting a skate team at some point. Yeah. Is that something that you see yourself doing in the near future or just still pretty far down the line? Yeah, hundred percent. It's long time coming for the skate team for sure. We have, uh, we've actually, we, we had, we had a skate team and we had a video and everything was ready and that kind of fell apart at the last second. It's, uh, I'm not too sure. I think it was, I think it was four or five months ago, actually. Oh, really? uh, we released, we released a couple of clips on our, on our Instagram story and uh, just trying to see what the feedback was. And, uh, people, people wanted to, we did kind of a poll and, you know, did, uh, you know, vote yes for, for this, for the release and vote no for not kind of stuff like that. And, uh, a couple of people voted yes for sure. So, so we might release that, but I mean, uh, a skate team is definitely like an official skate team is definitely something we're looking to do in the future. Uh, we've got lots of people asking about our skateboard decks because that's, you know, that's what we are based out, uh, based off of, sorry, um, originally. And our, you know, our website is called repairskateboards.com. So, uh, we're definitely trying our hardest to get, uh, those decks out as quick as possible and assemble definitely the best team that we can. Yeah, that's great, man. So tell me a bit more about the whole skateboard team world because personally, at least I don't know much about it. I know about skate teams, but I don't really know what they do. Like was it competitions, <laughs> videos? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's really the whole point behind it is, is um, I mean, I guess it's 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 sort of um, marketing and advertisement for your brand. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I mean, the whole the whole point behind it is you want to sponsor and have the best skaters possible on your team, um, and you know, and, and and then you put your team forward in, uh, like you said, uh, skate videos, competitions, uh, whatnot. Yeah, um, then that gets basically just have those people represent your brand. You know, it's it's mm-hmm. you, you don't want somebody who doesn't who can't skate, you know, buddy pulls up and can't ollie, you don't want him representing your brand. People are going to think you're, you, what the hell? Yeah, um, definitely. You know, so you want to, you want to put together the best, the best people you can, um, to, you know, put the best video forward to represent your brand as best as possible. Yeah, I feel that. Well, good luck with that. It's definitely no, just need to find some sure. people that are committed. And I bet that's a pretty big investment too, since you're throwing them hella gear. Yeah, no, exactly. It definitely, it definitely is an investment. Uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, you just have to look at it as as a return, you know. Exactly. Ho- hopefully, hopefully, if you if you if you send this person um, X amount of gear, that that's a deficit, you know, X amount of money to the company. Hopefully, uh, at the end of the day, this person's going to draw back so many uh, followers or so many sales that it's going to help us in the long run. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just need to be strategic about who you pick and shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So when did you guys realize that Impera had enough potential to keep putting time and money into? Because, you know, when you first start something out, it's kind of just testing the waters. And you're not sure if it'll, like, work out or not. But then, I mean, shit, you guys have been doing this for about three, four years, like you said. So definitely realized at some point that it caught on. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really know if I could give you the exact date of what we thought that. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, deep down, we've always just wanted to do it regardless of what the people thought. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're, we're not really, we're not really influenced by what other people think. And at the, at the end of the day, you have to be to, to some extent to be successful in business. You have to do what the people want per se. Um, but I mean, we, we really just kind of do our own thing, go with the flow, uh, make clothes that we would want to wear. You know, you see me wearing a pair every day, you know, i got a pair down you know, all the time. That's why I can't wait to come up with more stuff, more jackets and pants. Cause I'm just going to be wearing that stuff nonstop, you know, cause it is just stuff that we like to wear. It is just stuff that you know, it is, is, is liked by the community that is the same people as us. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, it makes a perfect sense. <clears throat> it's a great feeling too, just wearing something that you created, especially exactly. when people are yeah. like completely oblivious to the fact that you made it, but then they show interest in what you're wearing and start asking where you got it and shit. It's the best feeling, man. Yeah, no, definitely. It's a, uh, it's pretty cool. And we'll, you know, we'll pull up downtown and we'll see, you know, we'll see a person wearing the jacket and we're like, Hey, like, you know, that's, that's our that's our stuff, you know. And we'll see stickers in the back of people's cars, and we're like, "Hey, like I don't know who you are, but that's five, you know." <laughs> yeah, man, that's great. Is this your first yeah. time starting a brand or business, or did either of you try anything before this? Um, I mean, I guess this would be the first legitimate business, like the first incorporated company that we have. Um, it, it, it is a legal business now, so I mean, that is you know that is the first company that I own. Um, you know, us only being 18, there's not too much, there's not, t- you know, too much else. Oh, yeah, but, but like, uh, did you dabble in anything before, like, in the past, like, make any attempts at anything? Because I know before any of my businesses took off, I had a couple failed ones, too, you know? Yeah, no, uh, for sure. I mean, I've, I've, I've probably tried a couple of things. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't really know. I mean, I used to be in, I used to be in the skateboarding a lot, like, when I was younger, I, I, uh, I kind of opened, like, a little 
a little skateboard shop in my garage one time that fixed people, you know, I charge people to fix their stuff, you know, I, I put some WD-40 up on Mad Dem's wheels and they'd be, they'd be fired up. You yeah, know? man. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd loosen some people's trucks and they'd be, you know, give me, give me 25 cents or something like that. And grip tape somebody's board, you know, just a little hustle stuff like that. Yeah, man, that's, that's the root of it right there, though, to be honest. Start yeah, out young. No, for sure. Teaches you the dedication and shit. Yeah, exactly. Tell me a bit about that pop-up shop that you guys did. Oh yeah, for sure. No, we've had uh, we've had we've had actually two pop up shops now. Oh, that's great. Uh, one in, sorry, I said, oh, that's great. Oh yeah, sorry. No, uh, yeah, no. One of the, uh, the very first pop up shop we had was uh, it was out of location. Actually, it was a uh, there was a dude in Calgary. I'm actually I'm, I'm not too sure I'm not too sure of his name now. It was it was a while ago. It slipped my mind, but uh, he, he was some dude in Calgary who was kind of putting together um, sort of a I guess what he called it was like a like an influencers like farmer's market sort of thing like i mean he, he rented out like this space and he asked a whole bunch of local brands local artists local, like uh like like song artists and actual artists um like painters and, uh, and stuff and whatnot uh, to kind of come through this house and do like a little bit of a pop-up shop and what he did was he invited you know a whole bunch of people and they kind of came through and uh we had our stand set up you know we had a rack with our clothes on and people kind of just came through and, you know caught some shirts asked some questions about it you know kind of what a regular pop-up shop was but uh, this this guy had kind of uh, organized it, done that for us. And uh, the second one was was based out of the warehouse. That was that was a fun time for sure. We just uh, brought all the homies through. Everybody came through and kind of just chilled, listened to some music, uh, stayed in the warehouse, and stuff like that. And people just you know bought some shirts and some hoodies. That's pretty cool, man. Did you guys take a bunch of pictures or videos of any of the pop up shops? Because that's a great source of content right there. Yeah, for sure. No, the, the the first pop up shop that I was that I mentioned was I believe there's some pictures on the Instagram. If you go down to the very bottom, uh, I'm not too sure what row it is, but there's 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 a row of pictures there, and you can kind of see uh, some of us, some of the team sitting at the table there, uh, kind of handling uh, what, what's going on. And there's some people rapping in the background and stuff like that. But uh, no, there's definitely some pictures that we post on the Instagram and stuff like that. And we also like to be. Uh, pretty active on our story so we'll post a lot of stuff on a lot of you know pictures and videos stuff like that in our story and people view it and stuff like that yeah the instagram story feature is definitely a great asset for business i'm pretty excited and glad that they brought that onto the platform yeah no it's awesome we like to utilize that a lot we post lots of uh lookbook pictures and coming up events and stuff like that on it what do you think you would each be doing if you hadn't started this brand oh smokes yeah that's a good question. honestly to be completely honest with you I've put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, time, energy, money, and all that kind of stuff. I'm really, you know, we're really depending on this brand. You know, we really have our heart and souls in this brand. We really do believe that we can do something, even if it isn't, you know, straight to the top right away. We, you know, we're pretty determined to, uh, you know, make make a name of ourselves and you know, kind of just just keep trying to uh, make a way to the top. So, I mean, to be completely honest with you, I'd probably be. You know, I probably own some other business. I'd probably be, you know, doing something. But you know, I'm re I'm really uh, my whole life I've been, you know, really really interested in what I'm doing right now. I've been really, you know, really about making clothes, really about design, and really about you know, kind of the the culture that we've created. You know, that's so called in parent right now. So I, I mean, I probably I probably own some other business, but I'm not too sure what that would be to be honest with you. I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah a, that's a that's a hard question to answer because I feel like this impairs I guess it's also a big part of you know mine and Brian's like friendship and our sorry relationship you know coming up and like so I guess for it for impairing not to be a thing we almost wouldn't have met each other I guess yeah not something yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, for sure. so I I'm, I don't know but uh maybe maybe something you know with vehicles like. Not too sure. Really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all all of our the, the cool thing about Impair is all of our interests are kind of collaborative, you know, kind of kind of moshed into the brand under the name Impair. You know, it's really it's a lot of uh, you know we'll do we'll do uh, music videos of people, and you know you'll see our, our clothes in a lot of music videos from artists that we like, just like that. We send out a lot of care packages to uh, to some artists, uh, you know, to producers out in, out in the spots, and uh, you know you know we we're really you know we got the skateboard stuff going on. Because that's one of our interests. We got the clothing stuff going on. Because that's one of our interests. Um, you know, so we, we kind of incorporate everything that we like into and under the name Impera. So yeah, yeah that's, that's a that's a perfect way to put it. And, and like Impera is really, I guess if you want if you want the bet if you want to know the 
you know, us and what we're into, the company represents it exactly. The company really just represents the, the yeah. two of us. Yeah, the, the look of the Instagram, the, the, the aesthetic of the website, that sort of stuff really does represent you know, our style and, and who we are. That's really great how you guys were able to set that up to really just reflect you guys because, you know, some people try that but don't really pull it off that well. No, thank you, man. That, 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 means, that means a lot because that is really what we're actually trying to do is, is set that mood, set that tone. You know, people look at the Instagram and go, oh, damn, you know, I haven't really seen this before. You know, I mean, you, there's going to be a piece here that looks like, you know, like what I was talking about before, that looks like something the palace might drop per se, but it's got its own unique vibe. This is apparent. You know what I mean? It's Yeah, you know, people, yeah. People will hopefully, you know, that's our, our main goal is, is that somebody will look at a piece and go, that's apparent. Like, hell yeah. Yeah, man, that's so surprised that you guys are only like a year out of high school because the shit that you guys are doing looks really professionally done from what I've seen at least. But That's awesome, bro. Thank yeah, you, man. I really appreciate that. Okay, so is there anyone that's helped point you in the right way, push you or supported you more than others? A mentor, basically? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, you know, there's been there's been a couple people here and there that have given us, uh, you know, a little bit of insight to the business. Uh, you know, we've, we've done it a lot ourselves. You know, we've put, we push from the bottom up, uh, you know, ourselves learning throughout the way but uh you know we got to give a big shout out to my pops he uh he's for sure he's for sure giving us a lot of enlightenment yeah, a lot of a lot of business tips a lot of uh you know a lot of insight and a lot of knowledge on how to deal with uh you know the, the business aspect and the uh the the logistics side of the company he's really you know he uh he kind of did what we're doing right now he was when he was young he came out of high school you know went to university for for whatever it was but decided that he didn't uh you know, want to pursue that anymore. He kind of went on his own path and started up his own company. And he, uh, he's an entrepreneur like myself. And, uh, you know, he, he has managed to build up his company all the way to, you know, multi, multi-million dollar company. You know, he, he rides in a Tesla now. So, you know, he, he, he's, he's built himself up. He, uh, you know, he's, he's done his dues and he's, he's done his stuff. And, you know, we really like to soak up the information he likes that he gives us. He, uh, He's definitely a talker. You know, we'll smoke. Me and Abdul spark up a blunt with my dad, <laughs> and uh, you know, we'll we'll we'll, uh, it, it, we'll we'll get to the chats, and it's uh, it's it's funny for sure. He he gives us a lot of insight, a lot of uh, knowledge. We just we just absorb it. We're just sponges when he talks for sure. So very very blessed, very thankful for him. That must be pretty great to have someone that you're actually related to be able to answer a bunch of questions and help you out like that. Yeah, hundred hundred percent. Definitely wouldn't be where we are right now without my dad for sure. So let's talk about production a bit. Earlier you mentioned you have a bunch of different sources. Do you guys do any of the manufacturing yourself or do you just outsource all of that? Night, awesome. Perfect question. Uh, be, just because we are actually, a, we're kind of in a transition to that right now. Um, as, as, of, as of right now, everything that uh, is, is produced right now, it's all outsourced. Um, so everything is handmade. It, it, everything comes from different areas. So the, the, uh, the original t-shirts were actually uh, hand sewn and handmade in India. And then they were shipped into Canada here, and then they were uh, printed and stitched locally. We had them, uh, we had them finished up here locally in Calgary. Uh, the hoodies came from California. Uh, the jackets were made here in Calgary. Uh, we had uh, a couple other things that were outsourced from India and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, it's all it all it all comes from different parts of the world. We get it all finished here in Calgary, and we sell it out of our shop. Um, and then we're looking we're looking a little bit to transition into actually producing them ourselves, especially once we start getting into uh, into skateboard production um, and that, you know, just getting a whole bunch of blank decks, getting our prototypes made and getting the, uh, the, the, the decks in here and then um, printing them ourselves, you know, using a uh, sort, of, sort of a screen print method. Yeah. I feel that that's great though. Honestly, I'd say it's the best option that you guys kind of started outsourcing right away because that really teaches you a lot about the, how to do business with other companies, how to kind of assemble something from multiple parts of the world. And that exactly. could be applied to not just in para, you know, if you start a tech business, for example, a lot of those same techniques and shit could be applied to that because you have to source parts and services from all over the world for that as well, you know? Yeah, no, perfect. Well said. That's exactly what's, that's exactly what's going on. And, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta put a little bit of faith into it. You know, hope, hope that, uh, you know, we sent out our, 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 uh, custom, customized, you know, shirts to design as we want us to make that up to these, these people. And, you know, just hope for the best, hope they would come in, you know, as you wanted and, you know, put a little bit of faith into it and all works out in the end for sure. Definitely. So tell me a bit about your design process. How long does it normally take to, you know, go from concept to the final product? Yeah, no, for sure. That's a very good question. Um, I mean, it really, it really varies and depends on uh, what the piece is. 
and if it's going to be um, sort of just a one-time drop where we just either drop a solo shirt or a solo hoodie or whether it's you know it, it, it's season two which is at least yet um but i mean like i said it all kind of depends on what the piece is uh i i spend a lot of my time just thinking you know the whole team pitches and ideas for sure and we kind of just you know we, we I've, I've got a notebook that's as big as my head uh filled with ideas you know that kind of stuff drawings you know dimensions i work on photoshop all the time you want to flight photoshop all that kind of stuff um, so, I mean, everything as of right now that a pair is released is, is, is very basic, very simplistic. And, and that's, that's, that's done strategically. Uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, there's not, there's not a lot of big designs coming out. Like in pairs not releasing a lot of, you know, big graphic designs, stuff like that right now. And then for sure, we definitely aren't, but that's, you know, we, we're, we're kind of trying to, uh, build our foundation and build, build something that people can, can rest back onto basically producing the essentials or the staples, you know, the basics of. Of, of your closet you know, we have you know very, very basic simple colors we all of our pieces are black white and gray uh, you know there's they're all there we have tonal you know the tonal white hoodies the tonal black shirts um the jackets it's just black jacket with white stitching uh, you know uh on the hoodies it's a black hoodie with just a lavender stitch in front of it it's all very basic simplistic stuff and then once we have that base built which we do right now then you're going to start seeing some more progressive designs um, like I said uh, previously in the, in the interview, uh, pants. Um, we're gonna have some, we have got some cool pants coming out. There's about four more hoodie designs, uh, two more shirt designs, another jacket. Um, uh, we got some bags coming up, and then ultimately we got the skateboards coming as well. So I mean, it kind of takes you know, it, it's 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 definitely it's it definitely varies. I mean, I'd, I'd probably say, I, I, you know what, I, I really can't put put an exact time frame on it. It, it comes and it goes. Um, you know, there'll be a design that I that I'll make for a hoodie, and that will be set on it. It'll be finalized, and I'll even sh- I, I've, I've actually sent off finalized designs to the stitching shops, and at the last second, been like, you know, never mind, don't do that. You know, hold on. Um, yeah, I so it definitely it. changes. Sounds pretty solid, man. Is there anything that any of you wish you had known before you guys got into business? I mean, I know there's a lot of things, but anything specific, at least. Um, I mean, there's def- there's definitely a. I could I could probably list them off all day, um, but I don't know. Probably one of the main ones would be just uh, you know budgeting money. <laughs> you know, money money's huge. I, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta have X amount of money for you know all this, all that. There's bills to pay. You know, just within the web, within the company. Um, you know, just even just to keep the website up. You know, that's that's a, that's a monthly bill. Um, that's not too big, but uh, you know, just this that kind of stuff adds up. And uh, you know, just being being a being a uh, you know eighteen year old boys, we gotta you know manage our money, you know, spend it on you know how much we get to spend on food, how much we get to spend on clothes, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I definitely feel you on that. I've been in the same spot. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But, yeah, and that's the same for me too. Mm-hmm. I feel like well, budgeting money. Yeah. Everybody our age would probably relate to that for sure. Money, yeah, uh, money. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Runs the world, dude. Really. Yeah, it's a lot to worry about. But I mean, shit. At some point, your brand will take off. My brand will take off. We'll all be chilling, man. That's that's the goal, brother, for sure. That's just what you need to keep in mind at the end of the day when shit gets hard and money Big gets facts. tight. Exactly. Big facts. Starting to wrap up soon. Is there anything else that you guys would like to cover about your brand or just talk about in general? I don't know. I mean, I think we I think we covered most of. You know, I think we got to painted a, a decent picture for listeners to. Uh, you know, kind of get some insight on what a pair is. Yeah. What a pair has to offer. I mean, uh, you know, we're kind of just out here trying to do, trying to do our own thing, not trying to bootleg nobody, not trying to, not trying to cut off nobody. You know, we're really just trying to, you know, as much as people say we might be, we're really just trying to pave our own path, you know, do our own thing, come out with some unique functional gear that people can dress up, dress down, rock to the skate park, you know, rock to the club, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, set up our own little, our own little, vision our own little uh niche basically yeah i feel that i actually just got one more question that i just thought of is there anything any advice that you give other people trying to start a brand or even just yourself like a year or two ago that you wish you'd known because you know there's plenty of other people that are trying to start brands right now too and yeah, don't yeah, necessarily sure. know as much as you do <laughs> uh no for sure uh i think i mean one of the main things you gotta you gotta really really keep in mind is you gotta say to yourself you have to keep you have to know what 
your vision is, know what, where you want to be and kind of stay on that route and not get lost. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, we've always, we've always kind of known what Impera is, what Impera looks like and we've wanted to go. And, and we've had a lot of, uh, we've had a lot of, a, a lot of stores, a lot of individuals who, you know, want to either have Impera in their store or either sell Impera through their website or, or do this sort of stuff. And then, you know, and make, and make connections and, and, and whatnot. And as much as that's as much as that's good, as much as you want your your brand to get out there as much as possible and be sold by as many people as possible, you know you really got to stay true to yourself and true to your brand. And just basically, what I mean by that basically is that we felt that these stores and individuals that have reached out to us thus far don't really match up perfectly with our vision. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like we, we we envision I envision Impera being sold in a store that looks this way and looks that way and if this place is hitting me up saying yo let me sell in para and it looks a different way you know we you know as much as much as we want it to be sold in that store we don't want to be sold in that store you know so i mean basically all that i mean by that is is stay true to yourself stay true to your brand don't take no shortcuts you know what Patience, i mean yeah. if you want to be you know like su- supreme that's like that's like you know, that, no no brand's bigger, no brand's better than Supreme. You know, that's that in, in streetwear sense. Nobody nobody does it better. They're they're really, you know, and as as many as many you know weird hype beast guys that there are. You know, there's always going to be you know the people who rock the OG Supreme stuff, the people who really pull off the pieces, the people who really know the heritage behind it, who really respect the brand, and don't just rock the box logo. So. Yeah. And, and 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 the Supreme, you know, for example, it's just like what I said before. You're not going to find Supreme in any store, any real Supreme that is is authorized by the brand that's sold in any other store but Supreme. Exactly. You, you, you only find Supreme in, in, in Fairfax, LA. You only find Supreme in a spot in New York. You only find it in Shanghai, wherever these spots are. That's the Supreme store, and that's what I mean by that is that we want to have Impera, a brand where you're only going to find Impera in the Toronto location. You're only going to find Impera in the New York location. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, so you, you, you just really, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta know what you want. You gotta have your own vision. If, you, if, if you know, way, way back when, when this such and such store hit me up, if I might have said yes, that might have ruined the image, you know? Exactly. You just gotta stay, yeah. like you said, just stay true to your brand, stay true to yourself and be patient. Exactly. Then, I mean, shit, bigger things will come, you know? Exactly. All right, is there anyone or anything you'd like to shout out or... Any releases you'd like to announce or anything before we wrap this up? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, we got. Uh, I mean, just speaking of releases, uh, we don't we don't have an official date. Of course, everybody's been asking, of course. Um, but season two is definitely very very close. Um, I listed off. I gave a little bit of a sneak peek previously in the interview of. Uh, I won't go over it again, but uh, previously of what uh, is going to be dropping. So keep an eye out for that for sure. Um, you know, keep an eye out on uh, on uh, what's going on on the Instagram. Keep sure you know. Make sure you make sure you're following that because that that's just, that's that's the key for sure. Um, and that's at Imperial Gear, so make sure you're following that. Make sure you check that out. And then uh, just shout out to the team. Shout out to the boys who are, who are you know out here doing it. Shout out Midman. You know, shout out Cozy Boy Lens out here. You know, rocking with ASAP Rocky. It's just like that. One of our models out of New Jersey just did some big stuff with ASAP Rocky. So big ups to him. Um, you know, Midman's releasing his tape soon. Midman tape out here. Shout out Midman. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's great, bro. Keep those connections strong too, definitely. Especially if he's working with Rocky, you know, networking, bro. Yeah, you never know that could be you next. All right, so sounds great. Thanks for coming on the show, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thanks for having us, man. It was great. Of course. Have a good one, bro. You too, man. Peace. All right, bye.